Okay, in this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to do the basic forms or shapes. Okay, so, so this is number two, forms or shapes. And if you don't know the difference between forms and shapes, uh, a, a shape would be like a square. A form would be like a cube. So a form has volume, it has mass, whereas a shape is just a very flat, basic geometri geometric shape. Okay. So we're going to use both, you know, basically this is a 2D drawing, right? So it's really shapes, but in our mind, we need to think of the form. We need to think of the volume, how big and round her arm is, right? The volume in the different parts of her body, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to, basically using this as our structure, we're going to add on top of that forms, okay? So let me get my pencil. Okay, so the first one, the most important ones I see are the triangle below, the circle at the top, and this triangle, triangular uh, cylinder of her huge arm, okay? So that one's in the front, so I'm going to draw that one first. And so that it comes down to a circle, a half semicircle at the bottom. And then, okay? And try to draw, uh, for the boldest forms, use bold lines, okay? So I'm going to double this line up because it's in front. Anything else will be behind. And then, of course, we need to get an idea for her head. So this, luckily, I've already got a lot of, little bit of the roundness of her head drawn here. Okay. And then it comes out. And then her chin is a little bit more in the middle. Okay. And then, uh, and we're going to, this, oh, this is a very important note, okay? So if you're taking notes, write this down. Start from big to small. Okay, so we're going to work from big and then down to the smaller and smaller ones. All right, so as I mentioned before, the biggest forms I see are the triangle, the cylinder, and the sphere for her head. So I'm going to draw those first, and then later on, I'm going to go through all three steps, and then I'm going to go, when I, get, when I draw her face, I'm going to start back at, start, back at step one and then two, and then three, and then for hand, I'm going to do step one, t step two, and then step three, and then for more and more details, as I get smaller into more details, I'll continue to repeat this process, okay? So right now, we're just doing big forms, big shapes. So let's keep drawing. Okay, so we got her eye line, which is more like this. Actually, let me use my pencil. So her eye line, let's see, it's a little bit about, it's about three quarters up, okay? And then her face, well, we're not drawing the face yet. We're just going to do big forms, okay? So I see this one cylinder behind. And then I see the, the neck. It's just a little closer to her shoulder. Okay? And then, of course, I already have the sphere for her other shoulder. Here's the cylinder for her left, her, her other arm hand comes down a little bit. So we're just going to draw the hand as one big form. Okay, and then it's hard to get a sense of what's really going on underneath that dress, so we're just going to draw the big triangle. And we don't have to finish it. It keeps going below the drawing, so we're just going to do this. But this gives you a sense, right? Now, this is important, okay, because a lot of times people think of hair as individual lines. But when we draw, we're going to draw as one big form. So what are the key, uh, what are the key shapes or forms that you see here? All right? Well, for me, I see one big organic uh, curving shoehorn, basically. Okay? So the way I'll explain that is it looks like this. And then it kind of comes around like this. And then it, let's see, it comes down to her elbow, right? So a little bit past both of her elbows. So here's one elbow, here's the other elbow. So it's one big form, you see that? And then of course, like I said, big to small. So we could separate that out into smaller forms afterwards. So of course I do see the light hitting this form, this part that goes across the top of her head, very important. So I'll draw that as a form. 
But other than that, I mean, you could basically draw this out into a triangle here, maybe. But then again, we want it to make sense in the drawing, apart from the illustration. So basically, I'm going to do one for this hand, because this is in the foreground. What's in the foreground is very important. So this is a square that looks like, see how it's like a 3D form? And then here's her fingers. So I'm going to draw that at the front here. And again, that's right there. So you see how that becomes a 3D form as opposed to just a shape? So is this drawing starting to make sense now? It's not that different than, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen those like how to draw Batman or how to draw Superman, how to draw this particular cartoon character. Uh, you know, D Disney releases these kind of drawing books for kids. That's actually the same basic thing that they taught me in college, except, you know, a little bit more advanced or... Uh, you know, it's actually just with practice and skill, just following those books, actually you can draw those characters. It's just a matter of practicing, getting better at it, okay? Now, of course, head doesn't really make sense to me that much, so I am going to add a little bit more forms to it to help it to make sense. Okay, so I do see uh, this one big form, what we call the muzzle. Right? If she were an animal, this would be the part of her head. Like she, if she were a dog, this is the part of her head that would come out from her skull, right? The snout. So actually, or the muzzle. And so that looks like that to me. And then of course the eyes would be right there on that eye line. Okay, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm just going to do some very small lines to give me an idea of just so I can get a sense of this drawing, what this drawing is supposed to feel like. Because I want it to make sense even if I'm not looking at Merida, right? So what do I need to make this make sense? Okay, so maybe her head, like if we were to do a dotted line, her head would be much bigger, right? So we can maybe try to get a sense of where her head is in that massive form of hair. And if you wanted to, you could erase maybe some of the Line. If you have a soft rubber eraser, that's the best. But actually, you know what? When quick sketching, don't even erase. Just keep drawing until you see something start to make sense. Okay. Now, third step. Okay, so let's do third step. Let me just erase this real quick. So, the third step is we need to measure. Okay, because basically what you've been doing all along is you've just been guessing, right? You're well, I think the head is a, is a circle, but how big is that circle compared to the triangle at the bottom of her body, right? So sometimes we make mistakes. Now, what you're doing is, since you're quick sketching, you're just checking for major, major mistakes. Mistakes that will cause the drawing to not make any sense later on, okay? If her head's a little too small, a little too big, it's not that big a deal, you can just move on. But you probably, if you were to rewind a little bit and watch the way I was drawing the shapes, if you'll notice, I start to check certain things. For instance, I wanted to know how big her head is. Well, the best way to figure that out is, let me open up this. Okay, so I'm going to go to my yellow layer. We're going to bring this back up again. Move that back in place. Now, of course, I was tracing when I did this one, right? So, of course, it's accurate. But what I'm going to do now is with, uh, let's use green. I'm going to show you what I'm looking for. So I'm going to look at the side of her head. Right, the side of her head lines up perfectly with her shoulder and the inside of the hand on the screen left. Okay, so there's basically a, a line right here. Right now, in my drawing, what do we have? We have the side of her head. Right, and you don't have to draw this line. This is like an imaginary line. But, as you can see, my shoulder is too far to the right, right? Technically, her shoulder should be right here. And then her left, her smaller arm that's behind should be here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to draw one of the most important things, this bow. Okay? But the bow is important. I need to measure when I do that bow. So, uh, I wanna, one thing I'm going to measure for is the angle, right? Because you could easily look at the drawing and think, oh, yeah, it's just right straight across the you could easily th start to think that it's just horizontal, right? So you could just draw this big horizontal line, right? And so what that would look like is I would have drawn it like this. But that's actually not accurate, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure and I'm going to check what is the actual angle of the bow. You see that? Because it's not a perfectly horizontal line. It's actually at a slight, what is that, like a 15 degree angle. So when I draw it, here when I do a gesture line for it, right, my original gesture line might be perfectly horizontal, but in this stage, in the third stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to correct that. So I look at it, I measure, and then I know, okay, that has an angle that matches her body a little bit more. You see that? And then, of course, it goes out past her hair, which is exactly what I did. And I don't know how far it goes out to the left, but uh, the other thing I need to check for is the thickness. And the thickness is basically 50% of her hand. So if this is her hand, then it needs to take up about 50% of that. Right, because it's got to fit in between her fingers. Her fingers are wrapping around it. Right, but it's not that thick all the way through. It gets thickest right above the triangle, right? So right about here, actually mine, if I look at this, this is actually too far out. So it's more like this, all right? And then, basically I would erase this line here if I could. And the, the part that's above her hip, that's the thickest part of the bow, and then it gets smaller. And I'll try to just make it symmetrical. But then again, the edge, the edge of my drawing goes right about here, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Now, when you measure, because we're quick sketching, this is more for this step is actually more for doing a a, a perfect illustration. Since we're quick sketching, we're not going to worry too much about measuring, right? Her shoulder is in the wrong place, but it's okay. This drawing still makes sense, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But that's really if you're doing a, a painting and you want your drawing to be accurate, then you do need to uh, concern yourself with this, okay? So now what we're going to do, the last and final stage, is basically you just repeat the process, but you, you, we worked big, now we're going to go in small. So now what I'll do is I'll do, I've already done some gestures for her face, right? And then I'll basically do forms, and then I'll measure, for instance, uh, her eyes, right? If this is her head, this is the bottom, this is the top, right? What is the tilt of her head? Is it straight up and down? Or is it a little bit, right? So I'm going to measure that. And I got it right. I think it's pretty accurate. And then I'm going to look at her eye line. This is her eye line. This is her nose line. This is her lips line. Here is her brow line. Okay, so if this is the top of her head and this is the bottom, well, then that eye line is almost a little bit above the 50% mark, right? So here is the top of her head, which I did with dotted line. Here is the bottom of her chin. And then her eye line is actually a little bit below 50%. So in reality, her eyes should be a little bit more up here. So you guys see how that measuring makes a difference? And so I've got my gestures. I've got my basic. So I'm, now I'm going to do some more basic forms, right? So there, there's her nose. Her nose is this little bitty triangle that starts right, right near the eye line, OK? So basic shapes, basic forms, right? Her lips, and then of course measuring. Her mouth is just a little wider than her nose. But then again, how wide is her mouth, right? Basically, her mouth is not very wide, okay? That's close enough. And her, how big are her eyes, right? We like to draw Disney characters with big eyes, right? Actually, before I draw the eyes, I'm going to draw the brow. Do you guys see this shadow, this strong shadow that's being caused by her brow? That structure of the head is very important, okay? Because it's inside those indentions in her head that it's inside this brow line, right? It's right below the eyebrows. Within that structure, I'm going to place the eyes correctly. And I, want, I would like to have a perfectly symmetrical head, if possible. Okay, and then of course she has, right, her pupils take up what? Maybe, because she's in suspense, she's in surprise. So the black dots are really small, but the colorful parts are taking up a large part of her head, but there is some white above them. So there's some white above the color. And then there is those little bitty black dots. 
But as you can see, my drawing does not have the same expression, right? It's lacking a little bit. It needs more surprise. So that's where I'm going to go back to step one, and I'm going to take those expressions and gestures and then push them more, right? Open up those eyes a little more. And of course, I've got too many lines on mine, so it's getting harder and harder. And I'm taking a lot longer on this than I usually like to take. But if I were to start from scratch and show you what Quick Sketch really looks like, basically, let me pretty much start from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a minute to uh, get some new layers and kind of start from scratch again, and I'll show you what this would look like in full speed. Okay.